Welcome back guys to Project Shed. Uh, for those of you who watched the last episode, thank you very much for watching it. Thank you for coming to join me in this one to see this pile of shed get better. Um, I did say at the end of the last episode I've got a new interior for it, or I was going to make a new interior out of the one I've got and the one I picked up, which is in the garage. But I have a bigger issue, or a more annoying issue. So, I'm going to show you. This is currently in my garage. It's pretty full with car parts now that's taking up all the room that I walk around. Obviously I have a bonnet there that's got nice decent paint on it. So I need to get that on the car before it gets damaged. So this one I don't care about. It's starting to rust, paint is knackered. It's good. I'm going to cut it up or whatever and get rid of it. So I decided the first thing I'm going to do is take off the bonnet and put the new one on. So I'm not in fear of scratching that one or getting it damaged or anything like that because they're no bueno. They're no good. Obviously, we have a new one. I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to get it damaged. So, and also one thing I did notice is if I can pop this with one hand, because this is obviously knackered, and my grill's loose, and everything else is loose. Pull that. Ah, I need two hands. So one thing, one thing that I did notice is this one up here. Although it's got some like oil splats or something up there, it's quite old. I don't know. Um, it doesn't have any sound deadening, so there's no wonder that the car sounds a bit louder than it, it actually should do. Obviously, that one there, you can just see, you might be able to just see, it's black because it's got sound deadening on. So that's going to be, yes I'm adding more weight, but that is an upgrade. Because it makes the diesel tank sound a little bit quieter. So, to swap a bonnet, I'm going to need help from my fiance, I believe. Certainly when I put the other one on. But I'm going to have to somehow stick something underneath the corners. That's on rags and that, so I don't damage the screen, anything like that. Because I'm expecting this one to be pretty heavy, but not too heavy. Um, disconnect the two bolts in each corner, take the ram off, and I'm going to use some pieces of wood to hold it up like that, and then I can grab it and pull it off, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm hoping now, now I've used this bar here, it's not a piece of wood, but a bar to wedge the bonnet up. I've still, still got the ram on, I'm going to undo the corners, undo the ram, which I need a screwdriver for, and hopefully we'll be able to remove this bonnet. Should hopefully be able to do this. Save that. That's the ram off. So it should be able to loosen off the bolts now. If I take one out each side, I've got rags underneath the corners to stop it, stop it hopefully dropping onto the window. So I didn't realise there was actually some electric plugs for the actual sprayers, which I didn't didn't know. So I've unplugged them for now, because I think I've got some more on the, the other bonnet, but unplugged them, slid this pipe out, out of this hole now, so now even though I've just dropped my ratchet, I'm gonna do them two bolts and get rid of this bonnet. Product shed strikes again that day. Now the bonnet's off. Look how much light there is in the engine bay now. So we could have a good look. Hopefully this just pulls off. Yeah, it pulled off quite easy. Alright, I think this is off now. Wow, that's wet on top of there. Mmm. Lots of wetness. So the top of that cover there is wet through with oil. Don't really know why. I don't know if it's been spilt when it's been poured. Ah, oh, look at that. And if it's been spilt when it's been poured, so obviously it's just soaked into that, and that's why that's wet. I don't really know, but yeah. It's time now to try and put it back on on my own. Or well, the new one, that is. This isn't going to go well.
confirm that it was that easy. We're getting somewhere. Let's see how it shuts. So looking at the panel gap on this side, obviously it gets close to the bonnet there, but obviously it would do because that's where the dint is. But the rest of it isn't bad, but the bonnet is a little high, so I might need to adjust that later. I'm gonna wait till I got the wings. This side, the wing comes a smidgen high, but the gap's fine. <clears throat> so I'm quite happy with that. It looks loads better already. Just got the freaking grill and the bumper and the crappy wings to do. And I've not forgot, I need to connect the ram, so I'm gonna do that now. It will not lift it up. I'm gonna do that now. So I've just clip the ram on. So now we have a working ram. Ta-da! So those keen ones of you, what the hell is that? We'll notice that I've still not connected the pipe back in or the plug yet. Well, I'm leaving that for now because I've got to take this wing off anyway and I'm hoping that's going to help me get to the wires on that behind so then I can do the proper job so I'm just going to leave that, you know, just just, just tuck like that ah, I suppose I can like, get rid of this cover as well now, you know, because that's off through the bonnet but the bonnet is on, the ram's on, I've just walked into the garage Um, cool headlight, be nice if that was bolted in there's two bolts missing completely on that. Oh yeah, it's got a snap bracket on it. Oh, snap bracket. Well, the other one, as far as my head, doesn't have any snap brackets. Might not, don't have no bolts. I have to find some bolts. Uh, should we start taking them off as well? Yeah, why not? Let's take them off. There we go. One, one grill. Goodbye, grill. I wanted to show you how bad the spray job was on the freaking bonnet. <laughs> could, could that? That's the blue of you know of the pull it was underneath. No wonder that freaking paint fell off. So it's now another day in this video. Now Friday. And I've had a big parcel delivered. Can you see it in the darkness? Can you see it? I think we're just focused. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> I need to get this bad boy out, get it unwrapped and have a look at it. Not that you can tell what it is yet. It's dead light. Like, do, 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 do. Dead light. Even I'm surprised how light it is. Let's be honest, this is going to take me forever. I'll cut back to when I've actually done it. So you can take a long time. So as you can see by all this crap, it's now unwrapped. I'd probably give, give a shout out to the salvage yard I got it from if they didn't lie about the condition. They said there's a little mark on the corner. Little mark on the corner were their words on the advert. Well, we have a free number plate. So we can obviously tell it came off a wire reg car. Uh, there's Mark there again. I'm not after anything like perfect, but it's scuff marks there. Paint's all weird here, but you know we our car's all about weird paint at the moment. And scuff marks all across there. That's probably where I'm gonna end up sticking the number number plate anyway, so that'll cover most of that up. Got all this crap here that I'll just touch in. I might get a splitter for the bottom and touch that in with some silver touch-up paint. Touch that in, touch that in, touch that in. But it is an R32 bumper. As you can kind of see, you know, it'll look better on the car. It's got to be better than the one that's on. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, this is ridiculous. You know, peeling everywhere. It's got to be better than the one that's on. Plus, it's sporty looking. So, that's got to be a step in the right direction. I'm going to play a game. Or you're going to play a game. Using your red checker, find out what car this was. I imagine it was a Golf, but see if you can find out what Golf it was. 
I don't think it was on a genuine R32. This is not going to work very well because I can't pull it off. Give me a second. Well, the tape's coming off like shit, but I'm pretty sure it's TNC because there's not an arm there for any. I'm pretty sure it's TNC. Y283 TNC. Someone go and have fun online and see if you can find out what it was. I'm going to take that one off and put this one on. We're off to a great start. That one, one of them, I had to use my hammer. You know what I'm like with hammers, to hammer the bit in, otherwise it kept spinning. You can also see that this, this bumper was red, originally. More redness of it there. This one just now wants to spin and spin and spin, so I can't undo that one. So I think now I've just got these in the arch. And I think it's just two. One here, one there, and then two the other side. By looking on this bumper, I think that's all that there is. Yeah, one, two, and then them in there. I think that's it. So I'm gonna get this ripped off now. One thing I will say, like when I'm doing torx bolts, is I find it difficult to find out what size it is. And a lot of people start with a smaller size, then work their way up. But by that point, if you put the wrong size in, you've probably stripped it. Always start big and work down. So I found them to be T30s on the top. You know, them ones near the headlight and T20 or 25 now, I can't remember, around there. What were they? In fact, I'm holding it in my hand. Uh, T20s, uh, and originally I tried 25, but obviously they won't go in. Right way to do it, because then I didn't strip them, so. This bumper should come off now. So with a bit of luck now, this will come off. So, I hope you enjoyed me kicking off the bumper. I thought it was quite funny. Uh, yes, this bumper was red, as you can clearly tell. So we've had a blue bonnet, green wings, you can see them better than that bonnet's popped up, green wings, and a red bumper. It's funny. But you can see the number plate off this and I can stick this around the back for scrap. I've took the number plate off, you can see the crap that was behind the bumper. It's not the best plate in the world because it's got that big crack on it there. But I'm going to save it because I don't have another plate, but ideally I'd like to get some press plates or something like that. I won't be sticking it on the meshing, I'll be sticking it above it. Um, because if I do stick a big end cool on it, you want to be able to see the cooler and not block it with a freaking number plate. So, time to cut off that number plate and then we're going to test fit it. Whilst we're having a look at the front end, can someone tell me what the hell that pipe's for? It doesn't connect to anything either end. Well, it isn't at the moment. Look, it's just... That's, that's the end of it. And then this side's just... Just, just the same, like... Was that originally to plumb in for like headlight washers or something? Or, you know, someone tell me what it is and I assume I can remove it because it doesn't do anything. So, just let me know. So let's test fit our new bumper. It's so freaking light. Uh, I'm going to have to put some of the bolts in otherwise it's going to fall off. Ta-da! It's on for a test fit. And I am saying test it quite loosely. Oh no. Does the R32 have a different grill? Because that don't fit nowhere. So I may have been a bit premature um, buying a new grill because it don't want to fit because there's no hole for it in the middle, so have I bought the wrong grill, or do I just need to trim off the plastic? Either way, bumper looks better. I know it's scratched, right? I'm a little bit gutted that it's scratched as it is, but I can touch in most of it with some touch-up paint, because, you know, it's a cheap car anyway. But, look how good it looks! I have a message. Look how good it looks! It looks amazing! That's really transformed the front end of that car. It looks so much just beefier. Look, works brilliantly with the flat tyre and the wheels, you know. Flat tyre R32. Hashtag flat tyre. <laughs> Hashtag project shed. Ah, oh, I am well happy with that, guys. Look at this freaking corner here. Yeah. Hashtag didn't. <laughs> Obviously, new wings. Well, we'll get some new wings, that's what I mean, you know. 
and either modify the grill to fit or get another grill and yeah I think we're on for a good one there. So not really sure if this was the video you guys was expecting because I know you want me to get in the air so I can start in, like, inspecting the engine but I ordered the bumper, I went and got the bits the other weekend and I just wanted to fit them. So still not inspected the engine, that video is to come but look at the bonnet, look at the bumper, we fitted new things. Well, second and new things, new things to us. And it looks loads better, look at it. Look how mean it looks. And yeah, some of you are gonna say, were well, you changing the headlights? So you probably got to take the bumper off again. I think I have, but I have, I have, you know. I don't, I don't care, I don't care. Look how good it looks, look how good it looks. Plus the headlights are another video because I've got a lighting upgrade for them as well, so. So I'd just like to thank you all as usual for watching the video and thank you for the support I've had so far. This project's like growing massively. I've had over 3,000 views for the last two videos. It's you know more than I ever expected. It's more than Project Flip already, you know, for the for the views per video. So thank you very, very, very much. Um, thank you for I've already done my thank yous, but you know. Hashtag Project Shed R32. That should be the new one. Project Shed R32. I don't know, I don't really care anymore. But thank you very much. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. So guys, if you've liked what you've seen, make sure you subscribe by pressing the subscribe button up here. And if you want to see another video of mine, press this button. Just here. <laughs> I pointed the wrong way. Just there.